son of gold. And my brother say my mind. And you don't I give. As you receive. And your release is Satan. This is the part 125 in the series. Christ's forgiveness. How to manifest immortality. Season 2. And the name of today's teaching is. To have. Give all to all. When your body and your ego and your dreams are gone, you will know that you will last forever. Perhaps you think this is accomplished through death, but nothing is accomplished through death because death is nothing. Everything is accomplished through life, and life is of the mind and in the mind. The body neither lives nor dies, because it cannot contain you who are alive. If we say the same mind, you can overcome death because I did. Death is an attempt to resolve conflict by not deciding at all. Like any, like any other impossible solution of ego attempts, it will not work. God did not make the body because it is destructible and therefore is not of the kingdom. The body is the symbol of what you think you are. It is clearly a separation device and therefore does not exist. The Holy Spirit as always takes what you have made and translates it into a learning device. Again, as always, he interprets what the ego uses, what the ego uses as an argument for separation into a demonstration against it. If the mind can heal the body, but the body cannot heal the mind, then the mind must be stronger than the body. Every miracle demonstrates this. I have said that the Holy Spirit is the motivation for miracles. He always tells you that only the mind is real because only the mind can be saved. The body is separate and therefore cannot be part of you. To be of one mind is meaningful, but to be of one body is meaningless. By the laws of mind, then, the body is meaningless. To the Holy Spirit, there is no order of difficulty in miracles. This is familiar enough to you by now, but it has not yet become believable. Therefore, you do not understand it and cannot use it. We have too much to accomplish on behalf of the kingdom to let this crucial step slip away, to let this crucial concept slip away. It is a real foundation stone of the thought system I teach and hone you to teach. You cannot perform miracles without believing it because it is the belief in perfect equality. Only one equal gift can be offered to the equal sons of God, and that is full appreciation. Nothing more and nothing less. Without a range, order or difficulty is meaningless, and there must be no range in what you offer to your brother. The Holy Spirit who leads to God translates communication into being, just as he ultimately translates perception into knowledge. The ego uses the body for attack, for pleasure, and for pride. The insanity of this perception makes it a fearful one indeed. The Holy Spirit sees the body only as a means of communication, and because communicating is saving, it becomes communion. Perhaps you think that fear as well as love can be communicated and therefore can be saved. Yet, this is not so real as it may appear. Those who communicate fear are promoting attack. Those who communicate fear are promoting attack, and attack always breaks communication, making it impossible. Egos do join together in temporary alliance, but always for what each one can get separately. The Holy Spirit communicates only what each one can give to all. He never takes anything back because he wants you to keep it. Therefore, his teaching begins with the lesson. 
to have give all to all. This is a very preliminary step and the only one you must take for yourself. It is not even necessary that you even complete this step yourself, but it is necessary that you turn in that direction. Having chosen to go that way, you place yourself in charge of the journey where you and only you must remain. This step may appear to exacerbate conflict rather than resolve it, because it is the beginning step in reversing your perception and turning it right side up. That is, conflicts with the upside down perception you have not yet abandoned or the change in direction would not have been necessary. Some remain at this step for a long time, experiencing very acute conflict. At this point, they may try to accept the conflict rather than take the next step towards its resolution. Having taken the first step, however, they will be helped. Once they have chosen what they cannot complete alone, they are no longer alone. Thanks, Sean Hood.